Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. You know, there's a great article on BoxingScene.com that I'm trying to bring attention to. It's there today, March 5th, 2012. And let me also point out, Boxing Scene has a great search feature, so you could go back through their entire archive. In the piece, the great Mike Tyson, yes, Iron Mike Tyson, discusses the strategy he would use to defeat a Klitschko. Here's what Tyson had to say. You would have to fight Klitschko like a Joe Fraser or Henry Armstrong. Come in behind the jab. Move your head all the time. Get inside and stay there. And when he misses, make him pay with devastating counter punches. It would be very physical. That quote is apparently what Tyson told the Wall Street Journal in response to a question, and it, of course, is listed on BoxingScene.com. Let me just say this. If you go back and actually watch a pretty good first round, it's the first round of Joe Fraser against Muhammad Ali, the very first fight, right? This is before they had the history of fighting each other. You're going to see something remarkable. Joe Fraser doesn't throw any jabs. Joe Fraser comes in, he's bobbing and weaving. Ali is on his back foot. Joe Fraser wastes no time. He throws his best punch, power punches, left hooks. He misses the first two left hooks. He actually lands a left hook about one minute and 10 seconds into the fight. And the punch lands meaningfully enough that Ali feels compelled to shake his head, to look at the crowd, and to shake his head again, to let the crowd know, hey, I'm not hurt by that fight. This is uh, by that punch. This is 70 seconds into the match. Also, the referee in the very first round of that match warns Ali against pushing down on the back of Joe Fraser's neck, right? The ref doesn't stop the fight, but he talks to Ali in motions that Ali should not push down on the back of Joe Fraser's neck, right? The point is simply, just like with Ali, if you're fighting a Klitschko and both of them have good left jabs, why would you want to jab your way in if you're a shorter fighter? Doesn't that just expose you to a Klitschko countering your jab over the top? In fact, isn't that what the Klitschkos would want? Wouldn't they want you to shoot the jab so they could literally come in over the top of it. They're already taller than most of the heavyweight division, right? You throw the jab, they're going to time it, they're going to counter it. If you look at the first round of Moore Mack against Vladimir Klitschko, you're going to see that Moore Mack gets inside without throwing jabs, right? One of the best ways to avoid being countered is to not give the other guy anything to counter, right? I believe that the way Mike Tyson would beat Vladimir Klitschko would be to literally use head movement and follow the blueprint put down by Joe Fraser in the first round against Muhammad Ali. You don't need to jab your way in. All you need to do is to walk the other guy down. Because neither Ali nor Vladimir Klitschko went much to the body. Because neither Ali nor Vladimir Klitschko really enjoyed fighting inside. And because both guys like space. So if you look at the Fraser-Ali fight, you're going to see... Ali's backing up from the opening bell as Joe Fraser comes forward. When you have a guy in front of you who already is predisposed to backing up to create space, 
Why do you need to throw the jab at all? Why not just bob and weave your way in and then do what Tyson said? Get inside and stay there, right? You don't have to throw punches to give the other guy a chance to counter you. You could literally get inside, stay there, then go to work on the guy's rib cage. Wait for him to throw a punch that you can counter. I think uh, everyone should take a look at Joe Fraser against Ali. Quite frankly, while Ali won two out of three, I'm not sure if Muhammad Ali ever solved the Joe Fraser puzzle. I believe in the thriller in Manila, quite frankly, Ali was hanging on for dear life, right? And keep in mind, when you see Joe Fraser throwing left hooks in the first round of their first fight, understand that's Joe's money punch. Joe Fraser is actually trying to close the show, throwing the left hook. Tyson also threw an excellent left hook. The left lines up, right, with Ali's right hand. And all I'm saying is that threat of a knockout punch from a shorter fighter who can bob and stay low is very dangerous to a taller fighter. It'd be interesting to see Joe Fraser against Vladimir Klitschko. Let me know what you think. Mike Tyson, would he need a jab to get inside on Vladimir Klitschko? Leave your comments for us here online and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.